Hi. How you doing? I have some ideas for you out there in video land. Check this out. Uh, imagine this. A show. So dynamic. That it acted as a heart to a network. It's for the network guys out there. This show acted as a network with the actors in it. <sighs> you had to work twice as hard. To three to four times as hard. Twice as hard as just saying a little. Then check this out. This is how powerful this show became. It overtook the network. It was as though it was a symbol of the network. Because everyone would tune into it. Because they'd want to know what was going on on that show. Because, hey, you know what? The characters from this show, these two, me and somebody else. <laughs> A female so fine, so sweet, so kind. Would have to explore and guest shot that same character on every show on the network. Oh! Every show. <laughs> every last one of them. That's why it took three to four times as much work for us. Well, we guest shot on every show on the network, and we had to keep up our own show. <laughs> That's how much work it was. One time work is uh, one show. But we had to do guest shots, which is worth keep it going, strong and true. How many different times, how, how often are you going to appear on this show, or this show, or this show, or this show, or this show? Oh, my God. Rather than how work it'd be to keep it constant. Uh, but you have to be on location and they're shooting at the same time. But you know what? The magic. A blue screen. <laughs> Keeps some of the characters alive, the character alive on some channels. But of course it doesn't have to show up all the time. But three to four times, every once in a while, at a beat, right? A three, four beat. You're like doing three shows, no, three and a quarter shows all the time, plus one. Four and a quarter. The original show, too, you know you got to do. I'm willing to do it. Yeah, I know it'd be a workload, but I love it. <laughs> yeah, that's called that's called a hot. And then that circulatory system. Those two characters. <laughs> that's a network hot. Done right in design. <laughs> Ever seen a hub work? This is one even more interesting. <laughs> that hot? You know what, Disney? I got an idea for a film for you. And I'm not even starring in it. Except for in the final scene with everyone else. A documentary. About Walt Disney's life. Fully and truly just him. Or anything different, some of it was colorized. And he wins every award in the film. Now, how am I going to do that? I know how to do it. That's a movie in itself, right? <laughs> Let me put them all together. Like a puzzle to figure out. An editing job, pure. A documentary that plays like a movie. Because his life was like a movie. Tell you what he accomplished. But once he would definitely be in there every time it plays. The breaking ground at Disneyland itself. That's part of the editing job. And the actual, real, life footage. Because that man did it right. He can do it right again. <laughs> I'm sure you'd agree. <laughs> As a documentary. 
And then in the final scene, the only scene I'm starring in, all of us together, paying our respects to this tombstone son, and there's at the parks all over the world. And what would we be saying? Uh, thank you. Uh, for the wishes on a star is something like, I wish upon a star, I wish upon it each night. <laughs> and make a plan to delight. Or maybe in one night sit down and wish on many. Then the next night wish on many. And make a plan to just, ah, uh, what would that be as the stars come forth in reach of thee. As they guide thy choices in life. There's another idea I got for you too out there. This one's called a hub. <laughs> now, where does a hub work? <laughs> it's like this. We still got our base two characters rolling around like the hot. But the hub, it takes characters from each of the other shows with them. <laughs> There's a big jungle of mess. <laughs> Which characters on which show? <laughs> well, they do small guest appearances on other shows. Every once in a while. That's called a hub. But well, you got to have that base hub, which is those two characters bouncing out of all the shows, and of course, <laughs> doing their own. Where well, they find a big bad guy that threatens all the shows. <laughs> All scientific in life. <laughs> Imagine this. Stargate team gets captured. <laughs> and you know what they're going to do? They're not going to kill you. They're going to embed you. So you know what I did? I challenged them. If I were there. I challenged these bastards like you wouldn't believe. And they filled me with blah, oh, up to too many. They put more than two, more than three, more than four, or five, or six. They used it as a torture method. And when I had decided I had my fill, and that they would all fight amongst each other within and then fall out, that would be left. I rose from that table. You know how the lights and eyes do glow? Well, this was a body of glow. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Blasting walls through the light alone from inner power. <laughs> Busting my teammates out of their cells. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> and heading for the gate, <laughs> flying to the air, <laughs> just about with that big wall. Was it took him down? Was the copying? <laughs> well. <laughs> Knew I couldn't remove them all. <laughs> Take an injection of toker. <laughs> and now I was in. <laughs> I learned together with all the combined mind to bring forth a new queen. And the likeness of toker. Oh. You want to win that war? Who? Oh, tell me that's so true. If you knew when you came from, then why don't you just go back to then and go home to back to where once went? <laughs> You're lying in the future, but yet now to go back. In time and past, that land that once was where? The time in which you came from. <laughs> Just before. So where would you be but home? You see? <laughs> Wonder what would run into you there. Ha <laughs> ha!
<laughs> so can you remember the time you left from? <laughs> I want to go back to when your society was at its peak, where there's many of these wondrous contraptions and containers about indeed. <laughs> Same character, two shows, you see? <laughs> the base show, where all the enemies of all the shows combine together and attack. <laughs> Shit. And appearing every once in a while in a new episode, one of those new flicks they put out. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Just an idea. <laughs> Do you know how to pull it off? You got some of the idea. <laughs> ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> well, I can help you along the way. <laughs> so, hey, contact me. Christopher David Clayton. <laughs> Future at United Youth, I believe. And check out the media I've already got online. Working to raise a child. Childlike website of belief. To help out the world. To save it from hijacked aircraft. <laughs> Make it a bad dream. And in that words, I mean, ding, they're asleep. <laughs> and a bunch of other magic cameras asleep. Whoa. No, I can't guess. You wake up all your friends, but... Whoa, what happened? <laughs> Still in a signal. Got some of that personal trust when I legalize that smoke. You want to help? <laughs> in this prohibition, we place it with the lifting of the needs, such as the past to feed the hungry where there's food available to so many. For free, <laughs> practically. Just a donation. To give a value and make sure you know you're not stealing. With scriptures of all the good books written upon. What? Of every good book. <laughs> all those good. There's scriptures and share written upon the boards. Along the path. With a donation box, one on every block. Of trees, of fruits and vegetables, inspired by a great man, Johnny Appleseed. Great teacher. And then the garden, donation base too. And path to be the highway where you get the meat. You gotta go hunt for that one. <laughs> we'll give you the tools, but no guns. Too loud in city limits. <laughs> I am a twenty-two. Yes. A BB gun. A sword as long as a knife as long as your arm or a sword. A stick with a dollar point on it. A single point on a, on a springy stringy stick. <laughs> Careful, there's some carnivorous ones out there. <laughs> if it all works out, it should. Already animals coming into town for food. This path. Well, then. They're going somewhere to get the food, and they know where it's at. They're not going through garbage cans. Or living in mouse holes. They'll be living over there on that path. Gotta give them some closures. A little habitat along the sides of it. Some rocks, some trees, and a spray of food. <laughs> All that extra. Give it back like the great lion. Do you roar? Do you want to hear me roar? You do? Alright. <laughs> Giving you in design. 
Which I could take part in either one. Which one should I do? First. <laughs> but I have one condition. I will never portray in a physical online kiss. What I will do is a physical verbal kiss. Then clip. Next scene. Because you know, an actor is an actor, not a... Yeah, exactly. <sighs> and the truth is, so it's a share of a kiss. What would even take that out in physical touch? And just place it in word. And then cut right before it, because that's how I'm going to do it. So contact me. So still a kiss at the end of that scene. But is it a physical? Did they get the physical? But there is one of word. Free and lovely as could be, as sight to be. As dances and turns and twists of dances with, of the kiss and within. As searching for that love within, deep inside that heart. Where does it lie as barriers fall and break away and drop? I in that kiss, of course. And who am I? I'm Christopher David Clayton. <laughs> What's my idea? Well, I need a little help. A little access. So can you help me out? My hand is open for Ed. Uh, I don't like asking for help either, but you know what? I want to get this started. I think it's an amazing thing to see. And that's why I do it. Imagine it. A true heart of network style. Oh. With the characters jumping in between the shows from that one main show. Everyone flipping back and forth to the channels. Ah, oh, it looks like I gave you something there. Uh, an image formed. And how many different networks can do it? And a documentary about the man that did it right. Disney. Because he did it right when he did it. Pure editing except for a thank you at the end. As we wish upon a star. And a plan of forms. As you wish upon another and another until they reach you true. Uh, as for another scene, hey, we're going to the bedroom. Ah, door closes, scene shut. <laughs> <laughs> Why that kiss is there. Heck, even with a bunny. Even with a bunny. Even with a bunny. <laughs> Got a rabbit nest growing right now. Looks like they ate their food. <laughs> Dog <Stop> bugs. <laughs> But anyway, <laughs> what was the initial idea now? What kind of show did I want to do for you? The show that took part in every show on the network. Like characters, me and another, starring, guest shotting on each of these other star shows, guest star on each of these other shows, every once in a while. Randomly showing up on this one or this one and helping them out with a problem. And going back to our show. You know how it starts out, don't you? You know how the debut goes? <laughs> Not just simply guest shots. But the same character on every show on the network. The two of us, together. And in the main show. Who else would be willing to do it? See, all that extra work, though. Well, I'm not afraid of a little work. You? What it turn out? Imagine. Imagine, imagine. Hey, will I be talking to you? Hope so. Talk at you later and imagine it. Imagine that influence and imagine those. So I'll be talking to you later. Contact me in my email, Christopher at unitedunifiedbelief.com, or call me at 406-207-7997. You may or may not get through.
but contact me. And check out unitedunifiedbelief.com to see some of the footage I've already shot and I've got done. Some of it might outrage some of you, but then maybe you'll learn the reason why. So, uh, will I be talking to you, won't I? Hard to say. But think of it. I want to do that heart so bad. And that hub. Ugh. Get a hold of me, networks. I can't wait to talk to you.